I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that's breaks, and I'll bet I've had way more fun than you. Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Kip Does Stuff. Uh, today's episode is going to be an update of an old project I did years ago, a mini crossbow. This one's pretty crappy. I didn't do a very good job on it, and everything was kind of off-kilter and not balanced correctly, and the string was barely enough to flick the bolt two or three inches, plus I broke the arms somehow. Got a bunch of ugly twine wrapped around the handle and such, and it's just crap. So let's build a better one and see if we can do a better job. Okay, I actually started this project with a little drawing. Even though I've made this before, I still wanted to be able to have something to look at to reference myself. It's pretty much just the body, a trigger, and the arms. Then you need the bolt, a holder, a release, and a, just a little bit of reinforcement for the front. Okay, I'm going to start off by cutting this three quarter inch piece of uh, plank into something usable. It's got a bad edge here. So we'll just cut it off. I'm even going to square up the end and take out a couple imperfections. Okay, next we'll try to draw out the crossbow body on the piece of wood. I'll just use whatever I've got laying around to make the design. Okay, I've got the basic design made out. Here's our notch on the top that's going to hold the string. Our uh, release will be drilled through here and stick out the bottom. And our trigger will be fulcrumed on this and stick out this direction. And we'll just remove all the rest of this body. So let's start out by drilling this hole and this hole. Okay, we'll start by drilling the first hole for the trigger. 764th, that's all the way through. Okay, and the second hole will go straight down through the entire body. Okay, next we'll go back over to the table saw and we're going to cut this out just below this radius here to make it a little bit more manageable. Okay, now I reset the saw to th this desk here just to cut out the material in the center here. Okay, now we'll put our miter gauge in the slot here and we'll nibble out this section here for the string. Okay, the next thing to do is to cut a guide for the bolt to lie in here. And we'll do that on the table saw with a, I think it's a cove fit, 3 16 I think that turned out rather nicely. Now I can measure how long the bolts need to be. Okay, for lack of a bandsaw, I'll have to use my jigsaw to cut it out. Okay, the next step is to work on the trigger itself. I'm just going to take a piece of scrap I've got laying around and cut it to length. Okay, we're going to drill a hole in the end of the trigger that accept the pin. Okay, next we're 
Next we'll just do a little shaping on the trigger using our palm sander and this hastily made holder. Okay, next we'll install the trigger onto the trigger guard here. Holes are pretty tricky to line up, so I'll just use a little brad to try to get it. Okay, there's that. Okay, now we can pull out this temporary pin and start to drive in our permanent placement. Okay, and there it is. Works pretty good. Okay, I found a piece of oak. It's about a quarter inch by three quarter inches wide. I'm not sure how long it is, but it doesn't matter. It should work great for the arms. To trim off this bad end. Okay, now I've got a clamp in my vise. I'm going to use a round file to make a little indentation on each side and both ends so I can tie the rope to it or string. Okay, this part, I'm calling this a piece of reinforcement, but it's actually just for decoration and looks. It's a piece of aluminum, uh, probably 20 gauge uh, flat metal that I'm going to bend around these arms. Okay, so there it is. I'm not going to use any screws or anything to hold it on. I'll drill two screws, two holes here in the front for the screws that will put it on the front of this. And that will hold that piece of metal on there completely. So let's get these drilled out. Okay, I made two little dimples with a center punch. And now I'll see if I can make some nice straight holes. Okay, now I've got the body of it clamped in my my bench vise, and I've got it even with the edge of the vise. Then I've got the arms clamped on with these two spring squeeze clamps, and set down just low enough to let the bolt right across the top of it. And now I'll drill out the front and add the two screws that is going to hold this together. There it is. Now we need to put the bolt holder on here, add our release, put on the string, and make a couple bolts. Okay, next we're going to put the bolt holder on top here. It's just a piece of aluminum I bent up. And we'll just lay it on here, drill a couple holes, and use a couple screws to hold it in place. Okay, before we put the second screw in, we're going to slide this nail in, which is going to be the release for the string. We'll just drop it in this hole. Now we'll just put the last screw in place. Okay, I've cut out a basic bolt. Uh, what I'll do is I'll sit in here and be held underneath this. And to make it fly right, I'm going to add flights onto this, which I cut out of an old box I found laying nearby. And I'll just glue them, three of them, onto the bolt. Okay, the string itself is really simple. I just found some old twine, and I'll just tie it on the arms in a relatively tight fashion. 
Okay, that should do it. We'll just trim it off. And that should be more than enough tension to send a boat flying across the room. Okay, even the best laid plans can go awry. This nail is supposed to be up against this piece of wood right here to push this string off and launch the bolt. But there's a, quite a bit of gap there, so to fix that, I've just decided to add a little epoxy on the top of this nail head. And apply another nail head to take up that space. Okay, the bolt's all dry. All the flights look okay. Next, I'm going to put a little point on the tip. I don't want it pinpoint, but I do want it more aerodynamic. Okay, there we go. It's kind of blunted, but it's still good enough. I guess now it's time to see if this thing will shoot a bolt. Okay, now let's see if we can get this working right. We got the nail in position. We'll pull back on the string. Lock it in there. Take the bolt, put it underneath the holder there. And then point it at our target and pull the trigger. Okay, the initial test seemed okay, but I wanted to step it up a little bit, so I'm going to sink this nail that I cut the head off into the tip to give it a little weight and to give it a little punch. Okay, there we go. That should give it a little bit of weight and see, let's see if it'll fly a little more straight and level. Okay, with a little trial and error, I've adjusted the bolt holder so that the string gets a good grip on the back of the dart. Let's see how well we do now. Oh yeah, I think I like that. So there it is, our little mini crossbow. It was kind of fun to make and a little dangerous when we got this tip in here. I don't suggest anybody making one of these, and if they do, definitely don't put a nail on the tip. And if you do put a nail on the tip, you're an idiot, and don't shoot at anybody. Thanks for watching, and don't you try out.